Having a D back in the room was fun. She's super down to earth, just a lovely presence to have in the studio. I had the opportunity to work with a D in past years. I worked with her for just one week. I had no idea who she was at the time. I just kind of went in with an open mind and looking for new experiences. And she's kind of one of the influences that drove me to concert dance and it's like a full circle moment getting to do her work. We were lucky to have Addie throughout the whole process because like sometimes you just learn a piece and there's an int intermediary in between so you lose also details or the essence of the work. When choreographers come we have such little time to get to know each other and so it was nice to have Adi come back because it felt like an old friend. She made a few changes but like really little it's like okay it's still like what you like and we're there to like make it live again second life i've watched past people do this piece but maybe years down the road people will watch me do this piece inserting themselves in what might be my choices at the time i think that's like the rawest emotion of life is just Letting yourself experience things, but not grasping them too tight. She would show everything with such conviction and such, um, such intense physicality that sometimes it would come out even, a lot of the time, even come out in her voice when she would be explaining. Just so Addie, the way she expresses herself with like sounds and like, uh, it's a fun piece to do, really. She has this way of like looking at you and seeing how much you're capable of. And so she can tell if you're, if there's more and she will pull it out of you. This happens a lot sometimes, like my friends go to the ballet and they're like, oh, but we didn't understand or we didn't. Um, and I'm like, no, like stop, stop trying to understand everything. Just feel it, feel it and Whatever comes to you, like enjoy the peace and feel it the way you feel it. When Yiri came, first of all, like we started doing a bit of improvisation in the process. It was really beautiful to see what everyone came up with because everyone is so different and seeing choices being made that you never knew could be a possibility was really beautiful to see. And that's nice also about a, a collaborative creation process is that you can bring yourself into the creation instead of just trying to execute steps or just make steps, but you can really like bring yourself into the piece. He kind of had like the whole narrative and outline for the piece already created and then was kind of just plugging in different sections and creating them in little bits and pieces and creating in this like more systematic way. It gives us a bit more, in a, in a strange way, a bit more freedom to play within it because there's more of an understanding between us of the direction we're heading. Yeah, it was very honest when sometimes it's like, I have this in mind, but I have no idea how to get there. I think it's nice, it's so nice. It's just, there is chance as well to, to try to try things and see if it works and sometimes it didn't work so we try something else and then suddenly you know things starts to, to come up and so it makes sense. He gets excited like in the moment and as much as we're working within this clear structure that he's created and is trying to bring forth with us he's still like discovering it alongside of us and he's still finding those moments of excitement where he can feel the new perspective that uh, we're creating together and the new ideas and ways uh, that we can translate into this narrative that um, we as individual dancers bring to the process. As much as we're all trying to find our own artistry and our own path, it's important to look at the people around us and get inspired by them. Being influenced by people around you helps develop who we are. It wouldn't exist if you didn't have the person next to you.
I've been following Shay since kind of I left school and started to get more familiar with the Vancouver dance scene. So it's nice to finally be able to work with someone that has been like one of the strongholds in the Vancouver dance scene and has really invested in our dance community. Shay being one of the primary voices I'd say in Vancouver in terms of contemporary, contemporary hip hop choreography, I think is really important not only for Ballet BC connecting to Vancouver, but also just us as artists connecting to a potentially different movement language that is represented in the city. What's really beautiful about this process is a lot of people haven't experienced house or hip hop or street styles before. And so Shay coming in as a voice from Vancouver is really, it's a, it's a, it's a gift for sure. It's a privilege to be kind of in that space, like in our own space as Ballet BC, but still you know, kind of be a part of the conversation in Vancouver rather than feeling like we're always in our own bubble. That type of moving is not so much in the way that we've been trained, but I do know in my <laughs> heart, I've been craving it. And it's been really special to have someone that is so immersed in, you know, tap and house. And it's been great to like get my body to try those new ways of moving. He's been doing some uh, Tai Chi warm up with us that has also, I think, allowed us to find like an inner, an inner strength. He's very high frequency, like he's got so much energy, like he's got an endless source of energy, which is amazing. It's fast and it's intense and it's, it's up here. And so the Tai Chi really like brings it down and sets us up and like, slowly connects everything so that when we are moving this fast, we kind of can just go there. It's really nice and it's, it's a rare feeling, I think, to be in a room with a choreographer who's so generous with their own work and their own movement language. Um, but yet still, we feel like we're being challenged and their specificity and the approach to the work as well.